But, uh, <laughs> but you know, the, the beautiful tag team belts, I mean, that, that, just the sight of them makes you want to hold on to them a little tighter. And we'll talk more about that as we go on. But we're ready for our first big match here. It's going to be Hudson and Costello grappling right in the center of the ring. That's a big arm to snatch onto a side headlock, too. It is. All right, both men in the center of the ring. Costello uh, has been known to uh, use some tactics that may be questionable at times, depending on whom you talk to. Well, I, I think anything you do inside that ring, as long as you don't get caught, is anything but questionable. That's it, uh, almost uh, put a full Nelson on him, which is a move you don't see very often. So hard driving. The last thing that, that Sean Hudson wants to do right now is try to chain wrestle, if you will, uh, Tony Costello. There's too much power there. He's going to overcome. Oh, he's, he's one step ahead of him here. He's definitely got a quick move advantage, but as far as that power, if he tries to muscle him around, it's not going to work. Man. Yeah, Costello's got about, what, uh, six or eight inches of height and probably 100 pounds in weight. Easily, easily. He didn't do 100 pounds before. Costello's partner, Tarvin. Part of that train family organization. And that shows you that weight and size advantage. He went through him like nothing. That's in high flying. Ooh, oh, a nice drop kick applies. Nice drop kick almost. Oh, and a Japanese arm drag. And Costello needs to clear his head, but Hudson's not giving him a chance to. Now he's all over, and that's what he needs to do. Oh. Big chop to Costello. European uppercut there as well. As Costello reeling right now. Look, he's going to counter this move. Hudson. Wow, what uh, what kind of a counter was that? He kind of went up and over him there, almost into a headstand position to come down. It definitely caught him off guard. He wasn't expecting that. And Hudson right on his opponent, putting the, putting the choke on him. Well, he's clamped on that front face lock. And now here comes Bodie Williams, the bigger of the two. The electrifying Elite Pro Superstar, High Tide Bodie Williams now in the ring. Both men on Costello. Costello into the ropes. And Miss Valentine. First pinfall attempt of a two count. And Miss Valentine's enjoying the show. Yeah, absolutely. And she's getting a bird's eye view here. There's a great job she's early in her career now. I mean, she's making waves already with Casey Carlisle, like I mentioned. But I mean, her getting a bird's eye view of some of the top performers in this I mean, a championship match. So you're not going to get any closer to the top of the card than that. And looking in my crystal ball, I think we will see her and Miss Carlisle maybe tangling again down the, down the road. Oh, yeah, and I, I don't think it'll be too far down the road. Williams. Doc Gregory should have got in here. I mean, at this point, he's barely even counting. With a big drop. And uh, yeah, we've seen that, a huge European uppercut off the second rope. And look at here, we see uh, Hudson kind of mouthing Tarvin a little bit. He better pay attention to his opponents, what he should do. Another pinfall. And Costello got a, what, about a two and a half count there. Yeah, I mean, the, the, these guys have really taken Costello, I think, off guard a little bit. They thought they were going to bulldoze through him and overmatch him. But. And now uh, you and I have both watched this tag team develop here of Williams and Hudson, and they're working very well together right now. And there goes Costello with a big drop. And Tarvin coming on in there. He wants a little bit of action. Now we got Tarvin four men in the ring. Bodie Williams just gave the hip toss to Tarvin there, and he's a 300 pounder, I and mean, that takes some power. All right, Tarvin going over the top rope oh, and out of the ring. Takes the backflip to the floor. And Williams has uh, Tarvin just where he wants him, and Hudson working Costello. Doc Gregory, I think, has lost a little bit of control here. These guys are still on the outside. Do we know who the legal man is here? I, I don't know. I, I, I have lost track, and Doc, Gre uh, Doc Gregory, a veteran referee, uh, very seldom ever loses control, but he's he's having some problems right now. And uh, Williams with a big sunset flip for the pinfall two count. And oh, Cost Costello kicked out. Oh, oh, my, and Hudson goes over the Sean top Hudson rope. Hudson punches over the rope sky high out to the floor. On to Travis Tarvin. And Hudson's back on his feet, but Tarvin's not. Obviously so, and a big chop here to Costello. And I think Costello is the legal man for that team because Tarvin hasn't been tagged yet. Yeah, I think, uh, well, Tarvin's on the floor right now, and the ref's not coming. I assume he's not the legal man. Right. Uh, okay, things have slowed down here a bit to kind of get some order here. Doc Gregory's scrambling. You see Tarvin finally getting up. Tarvin's up on his feet, but uh, he obviously took a shot to the, to the upper body. Costello still has a little bit of vinegar in him to 
try to counter that move nice by Hudson. Reversal there by Tony Costello. He went to Irish whip him and just absolutely muscled him straight back into his own shoulders like a almost a short arm shoulder block. I've never seen that before. It looks like we're finally going to get a tag here, and in comes Tarvin in this championship match up for grabs. This is what they've needed now to cut this ring off on the smaller of the two of Sean Hudson. Here. Now we'll see uh, Tarvin and Costello working together with a big elbow to the side of the head, and Costello. They kind of got tangled up amongst each other, so it wasn't quite as high impact as I think they were planning, but they definitely got Hudson in trouble here. Hudson now into the corner. Oh, and a big chop right to the upper body. And neck breaker. Picture perfectly applied. Yeah, he's a neck breaker. He took that you know, with a lot of impact. Tarvin's got some springs in his feet for a guy that size. Now he just shoved Bodie off the ring apron there. Bodie's frustrated. A two count on Hudson, and Bodie Williams is coming in, but Doc Gregory. Go. Okay, the ref. Now he's doing something. The ref's holding <laughs> Bodie back, yeah. <laughs> All right. Tess Valentine over here looks disgusted after that. Yeah, she does have a look of concern on her face. Okay, with those forearms to the back there, you can hear from Tarvin across this room. They will take the air out of you. Oh, the nice move by Hudson. He's able to get out of the way. Probably should be looking for the tag. Tarvin. Another power to spell into, a, into the turnbuckle. Snake eyes maneuver there in the corner. Hudson takes his face, ducks the clothesline, comes back one step ahead. Punch. And we've got a reverse move here. Victory roll. This could be it. One, two count. Oh! oh. Near two fall a, there. Hudson a, almost pulled one over the eyes of Tarvin. What a move applied by Hudson. And look at Tarvin trying to overpower him here. And belly to belly. And that shows you how quickly the tie can turn. Two count. That, uh, that was a flat footed. Absolutely. Just completely muscled him over. That's all abdominal. Muscles right there to do that. Tarvin now tagging Costello, who's gotten his second win up here. So at least judging by that that uh, chagrin on his face, if that's what uh, the right word to use to describe that look. Yeah, he definitely needed breathing there early on, and that, that's the tactic of, of uh, Hudson and Bodie. I mean, they'll get in there, house of fire. Guys can't keep up with that pace, but eventually, if you can figure out a way to slow him down, then all of a sudden you can start picking him apart. And that's what's happening here. If you can weather that storm early on, then you've got a shot against these guys. And right now, Hudson's taking a beat. Hudson flat on his back, and now Costello and Bodie Williams are exchanging pleasantries. And Costello, did he blow him a kiss? Is that what I saw? <laughs> Maybe. And Bodie, is the, what do we got going on here? In Some kind of a, is, that a, is that a choke hold being applied to Costello? It's an, it's an all plot choke hold there. He's got that shin right under the throat. He's got the fingers locked behind his head. Doc Gregory, Doc Gregory asked him if he's going to tap out. And no, Costello's able to swing a couple right hands to get him out of there. And both like, men. What? Oh, my goodness. Costello. He scooped him right off the ground. And a huge T-bone suplex. And we're going to get a pinfall here. That one count, hit. two. Oh, how I, did he ever kick out of that I don't joke? know how the shoulder came up. That shows you the core strength of Tony Costello. He picked Hudson up. From flat on his back, picked him up off the ground and T-boned him right out of his boot. I'm, I stand amazed at that show of power right there. Now, once again, we see the uh, the team effort here between Costello and Tarvin. Nice Russian leg sweep there from Tarvin. He keeps that wrist. It's a, and now he's worked on that arm as well. I mean, he's really picking him apart, body part by body part here. Can you see, you see that look on his face, Jake? On Tarvin's him. face? There's some absolute anger in his eyes there. Well, we know uh, Dr. Crane has been working with him on his anger issues. Probably encouraging him to be meaner, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Standing suplex here. He's got him up four, five, My. seven, eight. Nearly ten seconds of a standing suplex there. And drops him. One count, two. I see the point you'll see guys doing that standing suplex. That, that, that allows about a ten-second period for that blood to start rushing to his head. So when he does take that fall, not only do you have the impact, but now he's disoriented because now he's right. dizzy. He's been upside down for that amount of time. All the blood's got to start redispersing. So at this point, he's got to try to get his bearing back. He's trying. He's throwing some shots to the gut here. But in the meantime, tag being made to Costello, and Hudson somehow finds enough uh, gumption there to, to work on the big man, Costello. 
Uh, body, is he still the bodyguard for the Crane family? I, I definitely an enforcer. I don't know if he uh, is being paid as a bodyguard. No, in Crane, he's probably figuring a way out to thin down the payroll. But. All right, there's Costello. He whips Hudson into the corner. Hudson looking to counter, moves out of the way. He needs to tag his partner, Bodie Williams. And oh, near the backdrop. Oh, and a huge form right to the jaw. Look at that. Hudson coming way off the top. Oh, oh Costello oh, caught him. Another power display. Unbelievable by what's Costello. He, what's he going to do with him? Oh. And Hudson, Hudson, how was he able to do that? Somehow spun it around into a tornado DDT. Amazing move. That had to be the leg strength of Hudson there. He <laughs> kicked his foot at the last second. It was so unexpected. That's unbelievable by uh, Hudson being a... Uh, uh, undersized against Costello. He was able to, to counter that move. Huge move. This ha has this capacity crowd on their feet here. Hudson needs to go make the tag, and he can. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it over there in time or not. Tarvin. Tarvin there it the is. Tag first. He's gonna, oh, and he made it. Here comes high tide Bodie Williams. He's going to take on both of them. He's got Costello and Tarvin down on the mat. Costello down on the mat. Bodie is a picture of explosion here. He's, oh, now Tarvin's on him. Tarvin got right on him, and now we've got four men in the ring here, and Costello is now over here with us, needing some liquid refreshment as Bodie Williams drop kicks. Oh, and Tarvin. And he actually took out his partner too, but he's going to get the tag here. here. Broke up the broke up the pin at the last second, Costello. I don't know what he was doing over here. He took a drink of his water. He he nearly allowed Tarvin to get the pin for him. Now, what's he doing here with uh, uh, Costello? Now he's got Bodie in the corner. They're going to work outside on the ring apron. Costello swinging those big uh, lumberjack uh, forearms. Now, I spent most of my wrestling career as a tag team wrestler I mean, in addition to singles. Right now, I have no idea who the legal man is. No idea. And I'm, I, I've made it a point to understand tag team wrestling as good as anybody. Bodie Williams uh, went knee first into the ring post as Costello moves out of the way, and, and Bodie Williams may be injured. He's down. He definitely hit it right on his knee. He even pulled the knee brace slightly down his knee pad. But this is not good for Hudson. We may have a changing of the guard here. If it's going to happen, Jake Davis, it's going to be right now. Double team. Oh, with a Huge monster suplex. suplex. And Bodie's down. Tess Valentine over there checking on Bodie. He's not moving much. And where's the referee at this point? Is he down there checking on him as well? I, I guess so. And, and I, I do believe that that Bodie Williams should be the legal man in the ring right now, Bodie and Tarvin. Oh, look at Tarvin. He's got Valentine by the hair. What what kind of man does that to hey, a woman? He shouldn't have been that close to the ring. Oh. He, and there goes Valentine. He just hip tossed her over the ropes. Can you believe that? What? Uh, I, I'm just uh, now the crowd really letting them have it here, Jake. Oh, my. Look at this. Double drop kick. This should be a disqualification. Where is Dr. Gregory? Where is the referee? Is he still out checking on Bodie? I guess so. And Bo I can just now see Bodie, uh, who's being helped up to his feet. Oh, oh look at that move. out of nowhere. Drop Costello. And she's out of the ring, and, and now Dr. Gregory's at, This is okay, Dr. Gregory's luck. He's got to maintain order. The match now, is still going oh, on. and Bodie miraculously is over this knee injury. Now he's up to the top. With one of his signature moves, he's going up to the top. Oh, and Huge the big splash. One, two, two, and a three and count. Do it. And our first match is in the books. Somebody needs to give Doc Gregory a pair of glasses because Tess Valentine retained these tag team titles for Bodie Williams and Sean Hudson. Their first title defense as Elite Pro Tag Team Champions. You can see whatever Bodie did that knee, and he's had knee problems in the past. He definitely heard it again, but they're walking out tonight as tag team champions. And Costello and Tarvin will head back to the locker room without the belts. And Tarvin wanting to know what, what happened. What we got going on here? Oh, my. Oh, my. We've got two. That's man thing. And Dracotis Diablo, two monsters of Dr. Crane's. This is. Un oh, my. This is. Uh, and, and they're. Uh, and they're going to put it on uh, Hudson and Williams. The belts are laying on the. On the canvas, both men miss, and look, Hudson with a double drop kick. Both monsters slide out. Man thing, now I, I, they just came out of nowhere. They were looking to blindside. And Doc Gregory is standing back telling those men to get out of here, and and, and uh, where, where, where did they go? 
Can somebody get more officials out here? Doc Gregory has lost control of this one. I think I think we're going to need some more. Uh, Man, think two more of, of Crane's disciples come out here. I think I think really, Jake Davis. The obvious thing to, to mention here about this uh, are these two men. Uh, maybe that's their way of issuing a challenge to uh, the current champions. Very much. I mean, if, if this says anything about what's going on here. I'd say Sean Hudson and Bodie Williams have a target right in the center of both their backs because they're going to have to look over their shoulders everywhere they go. I mean, there's tag teams coming out of the woodwork now, and obviously Dr. Crane is one of the strongest forces. He's got two teams now, one who is a hair away from winning the belts tonight and another that nearly put these guys out. 